hello friends now i am the i have the new video so on the single problem on the tractor's uh, seat design okay so the problem says a tractor seat and operator of combined weight of 90 kg has a transmissibility of 0.315 has a tractor chassis frequency of 4.2 hertz in static spring deflection of seat and operator is 12 cm so you have to determine undamped natural frequency of the seat spring constant and shock absorber value of the system okay so let's solve the problem to find out this unknowns so first thing the mass of the seat and operator is given so let m1 is the mass of the seat and m2 is the mass of the operator so total mass m capital m is given 90 kg so generally the seat is designed in a particular way so total mass is uh, this one so there is a damping and spring is there okay so this is related uh, connected to the uh, tractor chassis so tractor chassis is a uh, vibration so this vibration has to pass through this uh, damping and spring spring and damping uh, 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 system so that uh, minimum vibration is transmitted to the operator so the given transmissibility is 0.315 the natural so tractor chassis frequency is given 4.2 hertz so you can find out the uh, rms velocity of uh, vibration from this uh, natural frequency tractor uh, chassis frequency so that the spring uh, deflection is given is 12 cm so for the particular Uh, mass of the system so let's uh, solve the problem first we need to find out the spring constant from the basic formula so spring is uh, basic formula force applied in a spring so due to that some deflection will be there okay so let the deflection is x and this deflection depends on the spring rate so it's very simple so in this case the force is depending on the mass so the mass is given 90 kg so if you convert the mass into force that is to multiply the gravitational force that is 9.81 newton uh, 9, 9.81 so you can find out the force so then from the formula as you know so k will be equal to mg by x as you know instead of f we put mg mass into So mg by x, there is 19 to 9.81 divided by 0.12. So you can find out the spring rate. There is or spring constant. There is 7357.5 newton per meter. So generally force for uh, deflection in meter. So it's very simple. So it's calculated. So next one is to find out the undamped natural frequency of seat. That is ws so let uh, ws uh, and also you know the you have to find out the tractor chassis frequency so uh, the uh, already given the 4.2 but you have to find out the uh, the it is given in hertz so you have to find out in uh, same uh, unit there is radian per second so first find out the undamped natural frequency of the seat so as you know force will be equal to mg or k by x as it came to x so from that actually you can find out k by m the ratio which is needed in this formula that is ws will be uh, you will square root of k by m so first you put k by m so k by m can be found find out so from this k by m will be equal to g by x so g is 9.81 and k x is given 0.12 so you can find out 81.75 so this is ratio So this is going to be put here. So then you can find out the uh, undamped natural frequency. It's very simple to find out. So it was uh, we needed to find out the undamped natural frequency of the seat that is equal to 9.0416 radian per second. So the second part is done, and 
also the first one is done okay so now uh, we need to find out the uh, tractor chassis frequency in radian per second so just uh, multiply the frequency is given 4.2 hertz in, in, if you multiply by 2 pi then you can find out in hertz to radian per second so because fourth uh, should be the same unit so this is 9.01 so it should be same okay so now now after finding out this so now we will go to uh, the transmissibility so let epsilon be the damping ratio okay so sorry this is ratio and uh, also you know that transmissibility formula is this much so that is t square will be equal to 1 plus 4 epsilon w2 by w square and uh, 1 minus w2 by w square by full square and uh, plus 4 epsilon square wt square okay so w2 by w is okay. so here actually the epsilon is c by cc where c is the seed suspension damping rate and cc is critical damping rate so basically we have to find out the seed suspension damping rate or which is the um, uh, circuit observer value which is has been asked in the problem okay so c by cc uh, is epsilon so epsilon is here so if you know the transmissivity ratio we already know and wt and ws already uh, last uh, we calculated so if we put everything then you can find out this uh, epsilon once you find out the epsilon and you know the one value of the c y c c c so and already you know c c will be equal to 2 m w s so mass into uh, under natural frequency of the seat so that is 2 into 19 to under natural frequency is this radian so from there you can find out this uh, 1628.298 newton into second per meter square is the cc now this uh, cc is known uh, if we find out this from this equation then you can easily find out this c so next you go to the formula this t square is equal to 1 plus 4 this much so then put your uh, values t is 0 0.315 okay so then uh, WT is uh, 26.75 and uh, WS is 9.0416 so already calculated so we put all the values and you can find out the epsilon is 0 0.3967 okay so once you find out this so you can uh, find out the uh, seat suspension and damping rate or shock absorber value from this simple uh, ratio that is epsilon is uh, c by cc or you can find c will be equal to epsilon into cc that is uh, epsilon you find out from this formula and you put into uh, this cc as already we find out here okay so then both multiply then you can find out this uh, the final seed suspension time period or circuit observer value which is going to ask this one circuit observer value is this ones 6 for 5.9 for 6 newton into second per meter square uh, this is uh, for now so um, wait for the next video thank you